You want the best for your car? You already watch our tutorials. So the best place for the best deal is to buy from the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast and with better prices than on the website. In order to change the oil, you will have to purchase an oil filter, the Machu all-in-one additive and an oil can. You can find the recommended parts and products in the video description as well as in the link to another type of oil and the amount needed. Turn off your vehicle's ignition, set the parking brake, pull the hood release handle and open the hood. Open your oil filler cap. This will facilitate the flow of oil when draining. Lift the front of your vehicle and set it onto the two jacks. This will allow you to access the drain bolt. We do strongly suggest watching our tutorial, safely lifting your vehicle before carrying out this step. You can then remove the plastic cover if there is one to access the drain bolt. You can now see the drain bolt. Unscrew the drain bolt with a 19mm wrench. Start the process with the wrench and finish off by hand. Be careful on the last few turns of the screw, the oil can squirt out suddenly. You will have to anticipate making sure you have an oil recovery can at your disposal. We even suggest you to craft one watching another of our videos how to make a collector for liquids. When you drain the oil, you should also replace the oil filter. The oil filter is located underneath the heat shield on the exhaust manifold. Using a socket wrench and a 30mm socket, unscrew the oil filter. Finish it off by hand. When released, turn it upwards to avoid spilling any oil. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. With a new filter in hand, lightly coat the seal with oil on the screwed side. This will avoid too much friction, which can reduce the seal's water tightness. Coating with oil also facilitates assembly. Reconnect the filter until it makes contact with the oil filter frame. When this happens, add an additional half turn to tighten. On the VHE Group vehicles, the O-ring doesn't come apart from the drain bolt. We recommend replacing the old bolt with a new one every time you drain the oil. Reassemble by hand, then finish off using the socket wrench and the 19mm socket. It is necessary to pour oil back into the motor at this point. This step must be done with care and precision. Put the crankcase back in place first, then lower your car back to the ground and check the oil level. This is something that can only be done when the vehicle is flat. Begin by putting 90% of the suggested amount. This will leave you a large enough margin to adjust the level of oil appropriately. You can find in the tutorial's description the exact quantity of oil recommended for your car. Close the oil fill plug. Start the engine and let the car run for 30 seconds. This will fill the oil filter. Remove the oil gauge and wipe it down. Plunge it back into its sheath, remove it again and check the oil level. The optimal level is near the maximum, but be careful to never go over it. Based on the level indicated on the gauge, readjust to obtain the optimum amount. To complete this operation, take the opportunity to pour Module's all-in-one additive directly into your tank, which effectively cleans deposits and clogs from the engine, restores original performance and power, and reduces fuel consumption and gas and particle emissions, which makes it an excellent product to use ahead of a technical inspection. Operation completed.
Hi, it's Theo from Usetool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment, and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.